did they get it's the right card. decision it's or should card. it have been a red? It's a red card all day long. It is a, you can't... You can't See, in terms of force, you don't even force, but because he says sorry, you can't catch a player that far up the leg and turn around and say sorry and get away with it. He it is a red all day long. You cannot get away with that, says Chris Boyd. But that's exactly what Rio Hatati done. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Football. And Rio Hatati did get away with it. He only received a yellow card for that almost knee high challenge on Donnelly. But according to Boyd, it was the wrong colour. Should have been 100% of red. Yeah, and I tell you what, guys, you know, I didn't see it on the Sunday. I seen it on the Monday, but it doesn't matter if it was a 24 hour difference. You'd have to be blind not to give this as a red, all right? We've seen them for far less. Why can't people just hold their hands up and be like, you know what? You know what, Fog Football? You know what, Chris Boyd? The blue tinted specs, whatever tinted specs. We were winning 2 0. It probably wouldn't have changed the game. We probably should have went down to 10 men there. And we move on. We 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 ride off into the sunset. We join Steve Clark with his bottles of vodka. His bottles of whiskey. But all I'm smelling is BS. Shite. That's all I'm smelling. Because how can you think this ain't a red card? Look how high it is. See, if we're talking about it's just below the knee. You think we're talking about surgery or something? No, we're talking about a red card. Yo, look at the amount of tackles that we have seen this season, last season, recent years. Where it's like... Ankle and below, they still give reds. I, I talked to you earlier about the Dujon Sterling one last year against Aberdeen for uh, Rangers. That was a red. Compare the two, man. Look how high it is. And Boyd's right. It shouldn't matter if Rio Atati apologises. <laughs> you know, I remember once upon a time, um, human son broke uh, Andre Gomez's leg. He apologised. He still got sent off. Why does apologies mean anything? Yeah, no, I mean, to be fair to Atati, I don't think there's a lot of force in it. And you can certainly argue that he's trying to pull out. However, he catches him at the end of the day, uh, just under the knee. And it's it's an outrageous tackle at the end of the day, man. It doesn't... He can attempt to pull it, but he didn't pull it quick enough. No. And for me, that probably means it should be a red card. In this day and age, in this day and age I'm shocked that's not a red I'm absolutely shocked, and so is um, so is Chris Boyd, because he went on to speak about this decision, uh, and he wasn't happy. He thinks it's a red all day long. So Boyd said the following, quote, it's a red card all day long. You can't catch a player that far up the leg and say sorry. It's just below the knee, just below the knee. It's impossible not to be sent off there. So the referee gets it wrong on the pitch and Don Robertson gets it wrong in the far room. See if that was against Celtic, they would be going off their head. There will be nothing said tonight. That is a red card all day long. End of quote. And you know what, man? See for all these people, see for all these Celtic fans saying it was a yellow. I guarantee you, see if this was done on Calmac, they'd be crying their eyes out wanting the wanting the player who committed the tackle banned from life for football. 100%. They'd be saying how the league's against them. Corrupt officials. Uh, officials having a drink after the game in the lodge. But because... Because it's Rio Hitati and, he's, and he, he got away with it, they're just going to bow down. James McFadden, a guy who always seems to lean towards Celtic when it comes to decisions, agreed with Chris Boyd. He said that this should have been a red card. He says it's definitely a red card, no other colour but a red. Uh, Chris Sutton said the following. He said, quote, He does catch him on his shin. I think he will see red here. He'll say he didn't intend to do that. So there was the force. If you see where he catches him on the shin, he might count himself lucky. Rio Hatati. And of course, of course, Sutton's going to hold back a little bit. But I mean, he, he's saying that he catches him on the shin. Sutton's saying that he believes he should see red and that he will consider him himself lucky that he didn't. So that is Sutton telling you in his own words that it should have been a red card as well. So, I mean, you've got McFadden, Boyd and Sutton all in agreement that it's a red card. Yeah, people are are going to call but uh, Boyd. They're going to call him, you know, obsessed or biased or anti-Celtic, whatever. And they're, they're going to call Fog Football anti-Celtic purely because we think that Celtic had a decision that they got away with. 
Yo, it was what, the 81st minute, run about there. This wouldn't have changed the game. Celtic still would have won it. Yeah, Kelly would have pushed on. Was it that late? I think it was, but the 81st minute, yeah. Yo, Celtic, yeah, Kelly might have scored a goal, right? But realistically, Celtic were still going to win. I, I, there's nothing wrong with just holding your hands up and say, we got away with one there. Look a couple of weeks ago against Motherwell. There was a bad tackle on the day. I can't remember who it was, but I mean, that, that probably should have been a red. Th this happens in football, but I'm convinced that this was flipped. And it's the Kelly man on Atati. I think I, they give a red. I, yeah. think I think it's big club bias. Big club bias. It is impossible not to be sent off there. So the referee gets it wrong on the pitch, and then Don Robertson goes and gets it wrong in the environment. That is a red card all day long. And I know he pulls out, but it's a, his, his, foot's, his legs extended. It's high. The studs are showing. I know that you know a lot of people say uh, the game's changed and it's gone soft. That was still a red that, card. That would still have been a red card. Still a red card so ago. for me, I, I it think does he's very tick fortunate. Every box, doesn't it? I was surprised. So Sutton, McFadden, and Boyd have all had their say on the red card. But now let's hear what a professional had to say. We're going to hear from Bobby Madden, the former referee, where he's gave his thoughts on the red card, and he's also gave his thoughts on. Two potential sending offs that we've seen Celtic fans complain and cry about since that Kilmarnock game saying that Kilmarnock should have been down to nine men. So let's have a look at what Bobby Madden then had to say. Because I've seen a few people in the comments saying that they don't mind Hitati getting sent off as long as Kilmarnock get two players sent off for, for L. That's not how football works. You can't be okay with a sending off as long as another guy gets sent off either. Your individual, we look at incidents as individual incidents, you can't be saying well it's okay as long as this happens or that happens or scenario A is okay as long as he gets the same, you know, decision as scenario B, it's, that's not how, it's not how it works, not how life works. No, it's not how life works, you're right, you need to look at them individually and I mean, the fact is, why can't we just take off the, the specs and just turn around and say, well you know what? He should have been sent off. When we're talking about a knee-high challenge. Your boy's right. Even 40 years ago, this probably would have been a red. But it's not... How many times we sat here and said, well, it's not 1994 or it's not 1988 or whatever, right? It's like, yeah, you know what? I like hard-hitting football games. I like tackles, man. I, I hate the way football's became. I had so we had someone comment, oh, you know, my, my old man used to say, talking about, oh, if a footballer can't take a tackle, then he's not a footballer, right? But no, my problem is with that. Well, what, what, whatever it was, whatever when it's Cal McGregor or Tati, they get tackled. Are they going to are they going to apply the same logic? Oh, Cal McGregor, he's not a real footballer because he didn't get up for that tackle. Aye. Anyway, let's see what Bobby Madden then has got to say. He said, "Quote: Here you see the Celtic player has misjudged the ball and then lunges in and makes contact with the studs on the knee. Undoubtedly, this should be a red card for serious foul play." as it endangers the safety of the opponent. The contact is there, so a red card should have been recommended by Fee A R. End of quote. So that's Bobby Madden, simply putting it, should have been a red card, endangered the safety of the opponent, and, and that's pretty much it, serious foul play. So, did it actually go to Fee A R? I believe it did, and, and they, they kept the on-field decision, which and, is kind of... I know what I think is incredible about that, though, right? We know with free AR, they... they, they 99% pause. it gets changed. I know, but they pause it. They pause it and look at it. If and they, that incident looks worse when you're you pausing it. Except, yeah. Or you slow it down. Aye. If you see it in real time, you're, you're, you're looking at it going, you know what, Hitachi's tried to pull it at that, but when you're slowing that down and when you're looking at images, that looks ten times worse. No, of course, so I... And that's what they would have been seeing, <laughs> yeah, for some reason. I just think they're afraid to go against the referee's decision sometimes as well. I think so. Well, no, because majority of the time, they, they always they always overturn it. I know, but I, I think there's sometimes they do bottle it, and the referees as well. I, I actually, no, but I, I actually like when they go against it, but I think there's quite a few times they don't. Well, they didn't go against it here. Anyway, Bobby Madden then gave his thoughts on the incident with Joe Wright and Adam Adair and Casper Smeichel and Donnelly. First with Joe Wright and, Joe Wright and Adair. Uh, Madden says, quote, So consideration for the referee is, does the Camarnock player raise his arm as a weapon or as a tool? I think you can see he never once looks at the Celtic player using his arm for leverage. So the yellow card for Reckless is correct. End of quote. So he's not intentionally 
whacked at Adia. He, it's a yellow card for being reckless. He's not intentional. It's simple as that, really. He's not tried to take Adia out. His arm's been up there. He's caught him by accident. The referees deemed it to be a yellow card. For me, that that's fair. I, I don't, I don't understand why people are wanting a red card for an accidental elbow to yeah, the I, face. Yeah, I agree with that. You see a lot of these instances where the act is like premeditated. They look where their opponent is and they, and they leave one in on him. This wasn't one of them. But an elbow to the face is always going to result in a yellow, regardless if it's accidental or not. Yeah, and then on Smeichel and Donnelly, Bobby Madden said, quote, Final clip here, yellow card correct. Shows a disregard for his opponent. Strike or attempt to strike was removed from the laws as a red card 10 years ago. Yellow card for disregard correct. End of quote. So again, that other decision that people were saying should have had Kelly with a man sent off. Bobby Madden says, according to the rules, yellow card's correct. And uh, strike or attempt to strike was removed from laws as a red card 10 years ago. So Bobby Madden saying that both the yellow cards were correct and the red cards were wrong. Yet majority of people in our comments are saying that Hatati's tackle was only a yellow card and that the two Kelly yellows should have been reds. So oh, are, are we going? Are we going to listen to the the officials here, the guys with experience, or are we going to listen to the people with the green tinted specs on who will just not admit to any wrongdoing their club or players do? I well, wonder. You know I wonder right. which one. We can listen to whoever we want, the officials, the the professionals, or the the tinted spec brigade. But you know what? I li I listen to myself, right? I I just speak the truth. I see. Yeah, I'm say. I'm not saying I'm not saying these decisions are correct because Bobby Madden's saying them. I. But I just happen to but, agree with what Bobby Madden said. I, 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 you know, I'll play devil's advocate. See, right? Bobby Madden came out and says, nah, that Hattati's a yellow card. I'd still disagree with him. But so, I, I'll play devil's advocate here, right? I think the only way Hattati shouldn't get sent off if this is in, like, the first five minutes of the game. And even then, I still think it should be a red. You, you know what I mean, though? When, like, I, I feel like the refs are way more lenient at the start of matches. Ah, uh, I'm not buying that, man. No, they are. They are more lenient. They are. No, no, I'm not disagreeing with that. I'm disagreeing with you. are saying the only way he should get away. I, I guarantee... No, I'm not saying he should get away. When, do, when, when do we sell the Rangers play? Is it January 28th? Or no, December 20th? January 2nd. See if Connor Barron does a tackle like that on Rio Hatati in the first five minutes on January 2nd. Do you, do you think you're going to have... Celtic fans commenting on these videos on the review. Oh, absolutely if, not. If Rangers win, you think they're going to be saying, ah, you know what, he was correct to give me yet because it was only five minutes in, didn't want to ruin the game. Absolutely. Yeah, but refs fucking... do think like that, though. No, so the fans will think like that, but refs do. Re yeah. We see big games get the best of them. And that's, it's probably not right. I think a red card ta a red card challenge is a red card, regardless of whether it's in the first minute or the 90th minute. Yo, look at the people that were greeting about Lundstrom's tackle, correctly sent off at Parkhead last season. This is even higher. Obviously, right, right, not maybe not as much velocity, but I mean it's higher. I, I just don't I just don't see why this. That's a red, Kenny. That's a red, Kenny. And look, you know, it, it's a red. There's no two ways about it. Um, but you can't win some people over. McFadden seems to get these things right, and he said it's a red, so I'll, I'll agree with James. I'll, I'll agree with big James McFadden. 40 yard to park the Prince, you know what I mean? Like, what would he want? Park the Prince, uh, absolutely, but it's a red. It's a red. It's a red, son of Scotland, 90. It's, it's a red. It's a red. Anyway, guys, it's a red, so uh, just get over it and stop crying and accept it. You're right about one thing, though. January 2nd, Rangers will win. Don't know how what, what they'll uh, close the gap to. <laughs> I think Celtic will need about 10 reds if Rangers are going to win. I don't, I don't know what the, <laughs> well, that'll be a 3-0 win. Thank you very much. Anyway, that's it, guys. But yeah, Bobby Madden, Chris Bo I mean, so everyone's in agreeance here. Apart from the, uh, the, the people on our channel calling us biased or anti-Celtic. Anti-Celtic? Funny that, isn't it? Funny I that. guess, Jay, I mean, Chris Sutton must be anti-Celtic then, because he, he thought it was a red as well. He must be, he must be. James McFadden must be anti-Celtic, because he, he thought it was a red. Chris Boyd must be anti-Celtic. Wow, anti Chris Boyd is anti-Celtic, come, come on, come on, we all know where Chris Boyd's allegiances lie. Anyway, guys, that's it. Our allegiances lie with Scottish football, it's all fun and banter, cry your eyes, don't worry about it. Dry your eyes. Your, your what? Dry your eyes. Why would I say? Cry your eyes. Uh, they're already crying, so I mean, I cry about me. Anyway, next year, Hearts will win the league and you'll, you'll, all, you'll all be crying. 
Nah, Rangers will win it this year, then Hearts can win it next year. That's the sort of atmosphere and optimism I'm, I'm here for. And that's the optimistic stuff that you need on this channel, right, guys? That's it. Leave a like. Um, aye, Bobby Madden. What a guy. Well, not really, but I, I agree with him. I, it, it's hard not to look at that. How can you look at that and go, it's not a red man? I don't get it. No, I, I don't get it. I, I don't get it. And I mean, also, I mean, the Liam Donnelly one as well. Like you've see the way Schmeichel and Trusty reacted to that was pathetic. Yeah, um, just no. Remember though, like the Atari one, it was just like ah, brown envelopes in the post, my friends, never going to happen. Although, got to be honest, Derek McInnes said that he didn't think it was a red, which is very strange. Because I guarantee you. I think he was I, too focused on other I things. I guarantee. Uh, I think he was seeing red over the whole minute silence thing. But I guarantee you, if that same tackle is reversed and that's Donnelly on Hatati, Brendan Rodgers isn't coming out and going, nah, the referee got that right. It wasn't a red. Nah, I don't you know. know. Nah, Brendan Rodgers. Brendan. Brendan's demanding a red card if that's the other way about. I don't know about Brendan. About Brendan. Anyway, that's it. Till next time. Peace.